Welcome back, Trinidad and Tobago, to Now on TTT, also on Talk City 91.1 FM, TTT Live Online, and TTT.Live. I'm standing here with Chris Dennis, who is a national surfing champion of about 15 times. Um, he represented Trinidad on tour at the World Qualifying Series, and he's also the star of a movie called Between Worlds. But we're not here to talk about Chris today, we're actually here to talk about what you um, are up to. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. And um, just reading up on the things you were doing, I'm you know, really excited to talk about you know, what you've been up to and what um, is coming for you. All right. Well, this week coming, I've been working on, for the last year and a half, almost two years, uh, a situation where on the east and west coast, sorry, east and north coast of Trinidad, where most of the surfing take place, um, there's always a bunch of kids and, and people there where surfing and surfboard equipment and stuff has been is super expensive and the need right. for it is is uh is is large so over the year last year also i've teamed up with a foundation called the positive vibes warriors foundation and where uh, are they based they're out of california california and um a company called vans which is a, a, a tremendous surfing brand Okay, understood. And, and um, they make shoes as well, right? Yeah, yeah they, they do familiar, shoes right? and clothing and all of that. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> we've collected a bunch of equipment up and down the east and west coast of America. And those boards will be actually handed out in Trinidad really? and so Tobago to youths. Um, there's a criteria. That what's what's would the be criteria? Filled. The criteria would be mostly juniors, competitive surfers, um, youths that are in, that are in need right. of equipment, who are involved in the sports, who are also a part of um, programs that the Surfing Association has been putting forward over the last few years. So, Surfing Association of Trinidad and Tobago? Exactly. Right. So, yeah, it's actually quite a big deal. 200 surfboards was really? collected. And um, I actually have quite a few people flying in from Vans, the company, and a couple of uh, famous athletes in the surfing world also coming in. Like I really told you, really internationally, athletes, really. yeah, coming in. Um, this program is going to be part of a series called Passing the Bucket. So what do you mean a series called Passing the Bucket? international series, um, TV series. Called, TV, okay. Is yeah, it like a documentary? or Documentary like a, type series okay. called right. Passing the Bucket. So That's really of course, interesting. Yes, and Trinidad is the first stop. Trinidad and Tobago. So a lot's happening over the next few weeks. Has this been done before? Never been done before. Actually, this is quite historic. So it's the first time being done worldwide? And the last board drive was in South Africa. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that is um, that's really interesting and really um, heartlifting, you know, uplifting to, um, to think about this project that you're working on to benefit, you know, youth and and young people and capensas in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, yes, thank you. That it is. I've been involved um, on the coast, mostly um, doing a lot of coaching and mentoring because I come from one of these communities. I'm from Which, Balandra. Balandra. And yes. um, I used surfing as a platform to reach kids where I will teach them to read teach them to write, teach them to learn to surf. And uh, in the light of what's happening in Trinidad as far as crime and stuff go, as we know, these youths and kids, etc., these are our future. So definitely, it's and important that we have, you know, social programs such as right, these and, ones. You know, and having mentors around who could lead them in a positive direction, you know, because I, I've realized over time, you know, many times when you hear of some horror stories sometimes, especially involving youth, is because they didn't have proper direction in their lives and people around them to encourage them to do um, positive things. Exactly. So, you know, I really appreciate hearing things like this when somebody is taking upon themselves to give back and to give to the youth and, you know, really push them forward for all these nice things. Yes. I see we have a surfboard behind here, <laughs> you know, standing as a, a prop. Just congratulate you on the work that you've done. Thank you. And, and of course, all your success in the world of surfing. Thank but Rishi so and I on this side, we're curious to find out how easy it is to become a surfer because I've never even <laughs> seen a surfboard in real life. And I'm really? seeing really? never, You've never seen I've it. never <laughs> seen a surfboard so close in real life. I'm not a surfer. <laughs> 
But how easy is it? Well, um, as part of this program that I have happening on Thursday afternoon from four to six, there will actually be a free learn to serve um, session. Mm -hmm. Surfing is, you know, demanding physically. Of course, you have to be able to swim. That would be the basic. That, that would be the basic requirement. <laughs> and uh, learning to surf, you would be using a lot of uh, different boards from what you see behind me. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a, a professional. Board. That's a professional yes. board. You'd be using boards that are a bit more, much more longer and yeah. wider. Yeah. So they they create a bit more stability and. Like for a beginner, that would be a lot easier to stand on. I'm sure I can have you guys standing on but a board in half hour. You have to teach really? me to swim first, yeah. though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, but I want to find out how popular surfing is in Trinidad and where do people in Trinidad go to surf? To Mostly go. the north look, and east rough. coast. Rough. But That's you need rough. Exactly. Eh? I mean, when you said Toko, that that that. That's I, very I, rough, I, eh? I'd rather go on the north coast. Surfers are. Uh, surfers, we are. Uh, a hell of a bunch. When people are running away from hurricanes, we're running towards it. Oh my word. Um, Trinidad has prime spots for surfing. Mm -hmm. Really? Prime spots for surfing. World class surfing. Yes. Also Tobago. And yeah. um, there is a couple hundred people that surf. And um, the sport is growing quickly because now surfing is in the Olympics. Uh -huh. So Trinidad and Tobago will be planning to send a team also. Nice. Nice. So the sport is growing, especially with youths on the coast who live next to the ocean. Most of them look at the ocean yes. as a mean yeah. for, you know, uh, food. Yeah. But <laughs> surfing is also a but mean. But clearly it's world class because you're world class. You're also from Balandra. Exactly. But coming up next, we have somebody from Toko, which is like your neighbor, right? Yes. Not too far. Yes. <laughs> in studio with us, we have, uh, in studio, we've got Christopher Nathan on camera <laughs> coming up to talk.